Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, today is another shopping vlog. I know that I post these a lot, but you guys seem to enjoy them and I really love filming them for you guys because it gives you guys a little glimpse into my day. So today we have some errands to run. I need to go to a few stores. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I don't really know what all I need from these stores, but I just feel like I need to go to them because I've got some things I need to do and I've also got a few things I need to get um, before Pet Fest, which is in just about a month. So it's coming up very quickly and I do need to get a few things for that. I may also stop at a couple of other stores. We will just have to see, but I thought that I would take you guys with me and maybe you'll enjoy it. Unfortunately, it is rainy today. I know, great day to vlog. That's why I've got on my rain jacket. I'm sure you can hear it. It's really loud. And as you can see, I am not in my truck again. Patrick took my truck, so I'm in his car. It's just a big old mess today, but we're gonna have fun. We're gonna go to a few stores and I will take you guys with me while I'm there. All right, so first stop, we are at a auto parts store because I have to get some windshield wiper blades because Patrick's are trash. Do you see the piece? I'll slow it down. Oh dear. All right, I got new blades, so now we can safely drive in the rain. Do you guys wanna see something super sad? This was the Toys R Us near my town and it's completely dead and empty. All of the Toys R Us's nationwide recently closed, like for good, basically like went bankrupt and the company went out of business and it's so sad. It's like the end of an era and it's so sad, but honestly, these brick and mortar stores, they can't compete with online sales anymore. So I came here so much as a kid, so it's really sad to see the company close, but Okay, so we are now gonna head to the next store. I'm actually wanting to go to a hobby store because you guys have been asking me a lot lately if I do cage themes for Moo. And I told you guys in that video, basically I don't really do cage themes for her that often. Maybe on like special holidays and things. Like the last cage theme I did was actually Christmas, I believe. But with her getting older, I don't know if it would stress her out or not to like change everything in her entire enclosure. I know a lot of people do cage themes and I know that I've done a lot of them in the past when Moo was younger, but because she is is a little over a year and a half now. I'm just kind of like scared and I'm super, super protective of her. So I don't like stressing her out. I don't like doing anything too crazy in her tank. I love to give her her favorite hides and her favorite chews and the things she's familiar with, you know? And it's funny, I've kept certain items from different past cage themes and that's what kind of makes up her eclectic cage right now. Like her strawberry chew, I bought that for a food theme video that I did a long time ago. As well as her pumpkin hide, I bought her that pumpkin hide uh, during Halloween and whenever I did her Halloween cage theme last year. And it's so funny, she loved the pumpkin hide and she loves that strawberry hide and, and she also loves her little reindeer bed that I bought her at Christmas time. So she literally has pieces from three different cage themes that make up her tank right now. But if I see something in a cage thing that she really loves, I typically will leave it in there long term, you know, and let her enjoy it and just have it. So that's why her cage isn't themed right now and that's why I haven't done a theme in several months because she is getting older and a lot of her hides are tried and true. She loves them, she sleeps in them all the time. So. I just try to make her happy. But there is one cage theme that I've really been wanting to do, so I think I'm gonna go get the stuff to do it today, and then maybe next month, whenever we clean her enclosure, I may do this cage theme for you guys because I think it would be really cute. And honestly, even if I didn't do the cage theme, I still wanna go buy the stuff and maybe just take pictures with her or something. I don't really know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll get going so we can do that now. One thing that I love about Hobby Lobby is they also have really good coupons and sales all the time. And I have a 40% off coupon for one item, so I think that's what I'm gonna use for a hide for move from in here. Wow, they already got all their yeah. ball stuff out. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love, ooh. Wow, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Stinking adorable, adorable, oh my gosh. <gasps> Tori, look, look at these little hedgehogs. <gasps> oh my goodness, that's so cute, Tori. $5.99, that's not that bad for Hobby Lobby. Cute, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, it is so early to have all this stuff out, that's crazy. I cannot believe they already have all their like fall and harvest stuff out, it's so beautiful, but it's all full price because it's so early, so we're gonna wait a few months to be buying any of this. Here we go, here's some stuff. So much cute stuff. Oh 
so pretty. The flowers are always my favorite section because it's so beautiful. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite section in the store. Look how cute these fairy stuff is. Oh. And the fairy garden stuff is my favorite. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Last time I was here, you guys told me to get Moo one of these, so I'm going to get her one, and we are gonna do a cage theme. So that's gonna be really exciting. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so cute. Look at the little toadstool furniture. It's adorable. Okay, so I just left Hobby Lobby and I got so much cute stuff. I probably spent more than I should have on fairy stuff, but I think the theme is gonna be really cute for Moo's cage. I'm not gonna show you guys anything that I bought, I'm sorry, but I wanted to kind of be a surprise, although I did show you guys the section, so you guys kind of have an idea of what it might look like. I'm gonna try really hard on this cage theme because I've wanted to do like, you know, a fairy theme for a really long time, and I'm okay with telling you guys that. Like, I won't leave the theme a surprise because I think it's really cute, but I think it's gonna turn out really well, and I got a lot of stuff for it, so I think it'll be really good. Okay, but we do have to go get some bedding for Moose Tank, so we are gonna go to the pet store. Yay, I'm sure you guys are so excited. I love going to the pet store too, so we're gonna go there and get some bedding for Moo, and we'll have a look around while we're there. Fishy, 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 fishy. We never look at the fish, let's look at the fish. Tanks are kind of gross. Actually just bought one of these recently a little one. Oh, look, I love I love I love the bones I love the bones One small bag of this. this is this scented? I hope not. I don't know if this is non-scented. This is super cute though. So pretty. You're so pretty. Hi. You're beautiful. Look how beautiful that white parakeet is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh wow. Look at this Exoterra background. Do you see it? That is beautiful. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. So here is a tree similar to the one that Bodhi has and you can see it's $38 because you guys are always asking me about Bodhi's tree. It's very similar to these. There's a small one, but this looks just like Bodhi's. It's really pretty. It's $38. 
Okay, so I just left PetSmart. I'm back in the car. I got a lot of really cute stuff in there. They had this new candy-colored CareFresh bedding that's exclusive to PetSmart. And guys, I'm not going to lie. I do not use CareFresh in Moo's enclosure. I don't really like CareFresh. I find that it's a lot rougher and also a lot more dusty than Katie Clean and Cozy. I do use Katie Clean and Cozy for Moo. That's why her bedding is always just white, clean, and cozy because I find that it's really, really soft and she sleeps really well in it and she can dig and bury in it really well. But I decided to go on and get a pack of that CareFresh because it will go really, really good with the theme. And I think I'll just sprinkle it in lightly into some of the areas of the cage theme. I think it'll work out really nice. But I also got a bag of the Katie Clean and Cozy because it is what I prefer with Moo. I try to stick with the things that I know she loves and likes. So I'll probably put that down as the main substrate, a little bit of her old, and then I'm going to sprinkle in the really pretty CareFresh because I think it'll make the cage theme really pop and it'll be pretty. I also got another spray bottle because I can never have too many spray bottles with all my reptile tanks and having to miss them down. So I went on and got one of those. I also had to get some salt water for the hermit crab, so I grabbed a bottle of that. And then I also found some really colorful chews and flower chews they had here at PetSmart. I think those will really be cute with the fairy theme too. I can't wait to show you guys all of the fairy stuff that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's so cute. I think the theme is going to be really adorable. I hope you guys are excited for that. I think it'll just be a fun video to do. So we're going to head home now. It is about to pour. I can see the thunderclouds over top. Like, look at this. Can you guys see this? Like, it's about to pour on me. So I definitely want to get home before that starts. That is it for this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoy going shopping with me. I had a lot of fun today. I had a lot of things I wanted to get done. And I got everything from Moo's new cage theme video, which I'm going to be putting out probably next month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. I've gotten quite a few comments from people saying that a couple of my videos aren't showing up in their subscription boxes. So if you love watching my videos, if you guys don't want to miss a video, being as I do put out about four a week, so I know they kind to come out kind of quick if you guys don't want to miss one be sure to hit that notification bell beside the subscribe button because that's really the only way that you can be guaranteed to know whenever i upload a video but either way of course i just appreciate if you're subscribed so that's fine too thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video be kind bye